Hey guys, this is Squishy Monster, and today we're going to make a wukuk, which basically means Korean radish soup. This is a very sturdy root vegetable that lasts practically forever. So you can julienne it into raw salads, or you can make a Korean radish kimchi out of it. And when it's cooked, it takes on a very nice, soft, tender texture. When it's raw, it's very crunchy and refreshing. So it's a very versatile, sturdy, staple go-to. This soup will be much like my spicy crab soup, which I'll provide a link for below. It's just a matter of chopping everything up and tossing into one pot. And this is my Korean radish. In Korean, it's called mu, and I really like its refreshing crunch. If you can't find it, you can use daikon in a pinch. You can even use um, whatever radish or turnip you can get your hands on. And I'm using ribeye today. I love the butteriness and fattiness it's going to impart into the dish, but I chose to use it today for no other reason than it, than it was on sale at my grocery store. You can use whatever you can get that's affordable to you or that you already have. Brisket, skirt steak, flank, whatever you want to use. Pops is a very big stickler for how things are prepared, and this is how his mama used to chop the vegetable, or this radish anyways. In particular, the moo has to be this way, and my dad loves it this way, so I'm just taking a sharp knife and just shaving off little bits of it like that. Just very rustic and free form. Instead of having uniform matchsticks or rectangles or squares, this is how he likes it. Now I'm ready to tumble everything into the pot. And just a side note here, remember to cut your meat against the grain and let it come to room temperature but sure it's gonna really help keep your meat moist. I wanna glaze the bottom of my pot with the combination of sesame oil and fish sauce. If you don't like that taste of fish sauce, you can substitute with soy sauce, but I, er, I really like the fish sauce. And then to that, I wanna tumble everything else and save the green onions that are cut into little um, two inch pieces or so split like that. And I wanna save that for the very end and just kind of like I said, tumble everything into this one pot. So your radish goes in with the pea and we're gonna toss it together with all these aromatics and different spices. So we have some red pepper, Korean uchugaru, which is without the seeds. Sprinkle that in there, and some garlic and ginger. And I like to salt and pepper after everything's kind of bubbled together a little bit because there is a bit of saltiness from the fish sauce, so just kind of toss everything together. Once your pepper flakes begin to melt a little bit, you can go ahead and use some coarse black pepper and season. I would hold off on the salt though. So pepper like that, and remember to constantly stir, give it a little love and TLC, toss it together, and pour in either your broth or your water, whatever you're choosing to use, whatever you really have is honestly, quite honestly, what I do. That determines what I end up using in a recipe. <laughs> so slowly pour in your liquid, and you want the whole thing to come to a bubble. And if you see any kind of um, foam that rises to the top, you want to skim that off. At the very last bit, you want to sprinkle over your green onions. But basically, you just go until your um, radish gets tender, and like basically it's fork tender, and that's all she wrote, folks. As you guys saw, this came up in no time at all, and it's got a lot of different things going on, even though it came up very quickly. It smells really nice and comforting, and I'm going to go in for a bite and see how it tastes. The way to eat this, by the way, is with a big old pile of rice. In one mouthful, you get that rice, the hardness of the rice, you get that soft tender bite from the radish that's cooked through, and you get that really nice and juicy meat that's going on in there, just to really make it a really hearty soup. Yummy bite. I hope you guys give this a try and you think so too. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys very soon.